Hey y'all, it's Rita really Mae June. I'm coming on today to share with you guys my current wash day. Um, the team. first thing I do is deep condition my hair. And um, I like to dry deep condition. So this is my hair after being put under a wig for two weeks. It's really, really soft and it feels amazing. So if you haven't seen already how I prepare my hair, for um, wigs, I will have that video down below. I've been washing my hair every two weeks. So I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle. I have to dry deep condition um, because it's like, I don't know, my hair just absorbs the product so much better when I dry deep condition than when I um, condition after my hair has been washed. So the conditioner I am have been using lately is by African Best, Original African Best, it is the extra virgin olive oil hair mayonnaise y'all this is like so old like back in the day i used to use this product um i've been using it lately this is how it looks and the reason why i've been using a hair mayonnaise i know y'all like protein every time you wash your hair yes every two weeks i have been using this product on my hair and my hair seemed like it's done like a 360. since i've been using this product my hair has been feeling amazing. It's not like a hardcore protein treatment like Apple G. It is, it leaves my hair moisturized. It leaves my hair feeling soft and my hair feeling strong at the same time. Um, I have been using heat on my hair, so that is a reason why I have been using this product. Um, so I have been blow drying my hair. Take my water bottle, I wanna just lightly uh, mix my hair a little bit. I'm going to work that in and now I'm just going to section off a piece and, and I'm going to apply the product and I just smooth it in and then I go in and finger detangle it because this product has like mad flip. I just pull out the shed hair. My hair has been braided up for two weeks so you know it's going to be a good amount of shed hair. So I just make sure it's thoroughly applied. I basically just keep continuing taking sections and applying it and detangling it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that. All right, so I applied all the conditioner on this side. As you see, it brought my curls like back to life, like that quick. All I did was just apply it. And it just leaves my hair. My hair feels so good. It, it uh, absorbed in my hair already. But I'm gonna let it sit and do its thing a little bit more. So I'm just gonna twist it up. And I'm gonna apply it to this side. All right, y'all, so I finished applying the deep conditioner to my hair. I have it twisted up and I have a um, plastic cap on and I have my hot hair on. I have been only using this, y'all, for deep conditioning my hair for I think, the last two years. Um, I love this. It works fine, it's holding up fine, it's holding the heat fine. I only let it sit for 30 minutes. So this is all the shed hair that I got out um, which is not bad. Two weeks of uh, being braided up. So uh, I'm so happy with it. As far as shampooing and detangling and all that, I do do that in the shower now. I feel that that is too much of a private area for me to show you guys. Me in the shower, washing my hair, I don't feel it's appropriate. 
um, for me. Not saying, you know, nobody else would be inappropriate. It's just my personal preference. So, I would not be showing me shampooing my hair. I do have an older video of when I used to shampoo my hair in the sink. And I will link that down below. I still um, use the same technique. Basically, when I'm washing my hair, um, I just um, wash it in sections. I use two sections now instead of four. The shampoo I'm using right now is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. And um, like I said, I've been blow drying my hair every two weeks. So I'm kind of bumping up like products with protein in it. Something that's going to keep my hair strong. It's going to keep the elasticity in my hair so my hair can bounce back. Um, so that's why I'm choosing to use these certain products right now while I am blow drying my hair. So yes, this shampoo is really, really good. It does have sulfates in it. Um, it has lower sulfate than the normal shampoo, but I do use products with silicone in it. So, you know, using products with sulfates in it is needed in my hair care routine. So I've been using this every two weeks. I um, shampoo it twice, I'm working each section at a time. And um, I just make sure I basically focus on the roots um, while I'm holding my um, the rest of my hair down. Once I'm finished with that, I like to go in and add my conditioner. The conditioner I'm using is the Keratin Smooth by Trevor May. These are my flat iron staple products that I really love these when I flat iron my hair. I really love the way it felt. So um, I was like, okay, I use it for when I flat iron. That's using heat. Why not use it while I'm blow drying my hair? So that's why I decided to stick with these products. So I really, really like this conditioner. The slip is awesome, awesome, awesome. So I apply this. Um, as you see, I got an empty one here. <laughs> so yeah, I like these. So after I apply the conditioner, I twist that section back up and um, I go to the next section here and I do the same thing, shampoo it two times, rinse it out add the conditioner and twist it back up um, and then I let my hair sit while I finish the rest of my shower routine after that I'm ready for to detangle my hair and I have been detangling with this shower comb here so I like to detangle now under the running water um, that's why me washing my hair in the shower is like the bomb now so I basically work section by section and um, this one section over here, I split it just like I did when I was applying my deep conditioner and I detangle that section under the water and then I move up, um, part another section, detangle it, part another section, detangle. I do the same thing uh, all the way up to it's fully detangled and it's like, it's quick y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit and I will come back on after my hair has been dry under a t-shirt for a bit and show you guys All how right, I so my hair. I have been letting my hair air dry under this towel for the last hour or so. And um, it's time for me to blow dry it. <laughs> this is what I'm working with. So um, my hair is like super, 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 super soft. And it feels so good. So I'm just going to get ready to section it off. Alright, so I put my hair into four sections and I'm just going to work on this back section here first. Um, I'm going to add in my leave-in conditioner. I am using the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner by Shea Moisture. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to add in my heat protectant. The heat protectant that I am using is the Tresemme Thermal Creations. Um, my spray nozzle broke so I'm just having it in this little bottle here. And I just thoroughly spray my hair and work it in. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the hair I got from shampoo and conditioning my hair. This is my other ball of hair. So I got two little balls of hair. Um, it seemed like it'd be a lot of shed hair, but my hair is not showing no signs of thinning. So, you know, it must be normal shed. And, um, because I got to keep into, I got to remember that my hair is getting longer. The strands are getting longer, so my balls are going to look a little bigger, you know. So, I had two balls about this size, um, pre-wash and um, after wash, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to split the back. The blow dryer I am using is the Yellow Bird Conair Pro. I use it on high speed and warm heat, 
And I do use the uh, pick. So that's that one section here. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish blow dry my hair and I'll come back on. I'm finished blow drying my hair. It didn't take too long because I let my hair air dry for a while. Um, it's blow dryer. That blow dryer is the bomb.com. So I was supposed to, supposed to be <laughs> doing something to my hair if I can let it breathe. But y'all, it is raining. It's muggy. It's humid. It's just not the time for me to be trying to do a set style, like a twist up, but it's not the time for that. So I'm gonna have to wait until it cools off because I can do it. It's gonna look nice for you guys. I can do it for y'all, if y'all can see it, but it's gonna be messed up as soon as I go outside. But I'm about to braid my hair back up y'all and wear a wig. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, this is my current wash day routine, my hair. It's like back on the right track now. At first it seemed like my hair wasn't doing all that well. But my hair is back on the right track. It is thriving. It don't have like knots and stuff at the ends. It's like it's doing really, really well. Being blow dried. I was, um, I was banding my hair at one point. But I do not like to walk around with my hair not done. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't do walking around with my hair not done. Um, that's why I don't do styles like twist outs and braid outs on damp hair and just let it set for a couple days. I feel so undone, y'all. Like most people, they don't feel right don't have their makeup on. You know what I'm saying? But me, I don't feel right if my hair is not right. My hair is just that's just how I am. You know, I can't do. Walking around, waiting for my rollers to dry, stuck in the house, and hugging like we gotta go. My hair still wet because my hair takes like two days to dry. I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. So, whenever I do style my hair like in twist outs and braid outs and stuff like that, it'll have to be on blow dry hair so I can set it for that overnight process. But um, it's too hot for that. It's too hot and muggy for that. It's 80 something degrees and. It's November, it's about to be Thanksgiving. So yeah, I can't do it, y'all. But um, yeah, that's my wash day routine. I can keep up here any longer. If you have any questions or anything, please leave it down below and I will talk to y'all later. All right, bye.